Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Friday, September 15th, 2017. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We've had a couple of very, very quiet days up here, um, sitting up here near highs, not really pushing higher. Um, really a lack of volatility and not really a whole lot of action going on. Uh, something that's been interesting is that price continues to hold above 2480 and continues to hold generally after the breakout here recently. So that's bullish here. Uh, but typically speaking, if price holds up here for several days and bulls aren't getting paid, there comes a point here where there may be some rejection that leads to a stop run day. And that could lead to the stops being triggered below the recent lows and a major return toward perhaps 2470 could be seen, maybe even a little lower in a 2459. So we're looking here to see how it plays out. This is not a great spot here for swing traders, at least not from my opinion, unless you see some sort of rejection down here that can get you catapulting to new highs. Right now, got to be very careful in the ES as it is uh, very, very quiet. Intraday chart, super, super tightly coiled. If we take a look at crude oil, this one had a big move up in the previous session uh, and we reached the previous month's high. That's the previous month's high price, that white line right there. This white line is the previous month's low and that white dotted line is the previous month's close. Those are very, very important uh, key levels in any auction. And this one right here, we saw a big time rally off the close, comes back, rests on it and rallies right back to the high. And this is what I talked about before with our traders yesterday. This is a very difficult situation here because a lot of people are looking at this upper trend line. <clears throat> a lot of people are looking at how tightly coiled it is. So a lot of folks were thinking this could be a breakout that leads perhaps toward 54, 55. I was a little bit more cautious. Instead, I mentioned that this is not the best opportunity for a, for a move higher, even if we are breaking this upper line, because we do have resistance here. We could easily reject. And right now, the trading range is still between 46 and 50 half. That is still the range. So any rejection here could bring us right back to MCB pock 45.95. And that's basically where the prices have been trading back and forth, back and forth, back and forth this time. So very cautious on crude up here. Obviously, this short term level, um, previous highs and current lows, 49.25. That's the zone of support right now. Below that level starts to lead to more weakness. So still taking this cautiously here. Of course, if price were to push through 50 half, 52 is the next major key level. It's a CLVN uh, in the chart. And so that could also lead to some sort of sizable uh, rejection once that target is hit. Okay, let's take a look now at the NQ. The NQ here has been holding at these highs. Uh, we had one really great squeeze here, and that's the one we were really keyed in on. Um, did Came really close to the lows there. We had other issues that did reject those lows, and then we got the great move up. Since that move, we haven't really had anything much to like. Uh, we did see some weakness here. We saw some patterns of absorption that you know helped us believe that we might see a move back toward 40, uh, 5729. We got that move a couple of times, never quite hit it. And we're still kind of lingering up here. So again, very similar to the ES. We're not at a great spot in the chart that inspires confidence for swing bulls. Um, but we could see a return or some sort of pullback that leads to a greater buying opportunity. I still believe that down here, 57.29, still provides a great opportunity for a buy if we were to get that. But right now, I've got to be more cautious and careful as price kind of sits at these highs. If we take a look at gold, this one's a little bit... Uh, more actionable, at least uh, in terms of what it's been doing here. We've, we've seen some great pullback buying opportunities on this move up. We've talked about the various buying opportunities along the way uh, in this chart. And now I've been mentioning 1330 is about a spot we wanted to watch. Then we had a failed high started to play out. So I mentioned let's go a little bit lower. Uh, and now you're seeing this thing has come right into the trigger zone, top of the pivot range and is holding. However, yet again, Look at that previous high. Prices above the previous high being rejected yet again. Price is holding at the previous month's close. Again, this doesn't inspire a whole lot of confidence, but above 1340 could spark another move and that could lead to 1375. So above 1330, 1340 rather, opens up a move to 1375. 
we may see more pullback until that occurs, but something to watch out for. Again, if there's any failure to hold 1300 as a whole, that could be much more significant. So right now, still quietly bullish here for at least maybe one more rotation, but got to be careful because we could be toward the end of this bull move. And really briefly here, I wanted to talk about a great special offer I have for you all. If you go to pivotboss.com, pivotboss.com, click on news, it'll drop you right down to this latest news piece here, SPB birthday special. We have a special offer for Secrets of a Pivot Boss. It turns seven years old this week. Uh, it's aging fantastically because, again, the point that I had behind writing that book was to write a book that can last. Uh, last the decades because it's based off of foundational concepts that just work in the market. And so if you click on that link, it'll take you to a post where you can read more about it. But basically, we're offering Secrets of a Pivot Boss for the lowest price we've ever offered it, $40. And if you buy it for 40 bucks, you also receive one month access to our premium membership, which includes our trading room. It includes on-demand training, proprietary tools for multiple platforms, including Thinkorswim, NinjaTrader, InvestorRT, and others. So uh, a lot of great value built into $40 here. A great way to celebrate uh, a, a great book that so many traders around the world have loved. So again, I wanted to do something special for the seventh anniversary here, and I hope you take advantage of it. All right, everyone, that's it for now. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and happy Friday.